All right, there. My name's Ragtag, the greatest gutter to your gamer on the face of this earth, Lord of the Losers, amazingly average, incredibly inconsistent, regularly regal, prince of pathetic, and a whole host of other titles that I have personally bestowed upon myself. I am going to show you some Horizon gameplay today, guys. And what I did was I gave myself just a little task. And that task was, it doesn't matter what happens in the game, just try and do the nuttiest movement that you can possibly summon and then go from there. Because I feel like when you have a limited skill set like myself, and when you see the gameplay, you might actually think, oh, who's this guy I think he is calling himself average and all the rest of it. Yeah, well, you did not see the games that I had to play to actually get this far. So uh, a lot of the time I die immediately or I make mistakes, in, you know, right at the start and I can't actually get any momentum going whatsoever. In fact, I would describe that as 80% of my Apex Legends experience. However, when I actually get a little bit of rhythm, you know what it's like, guys, when you actually feel like the gods have turned and said, here, let us take over for you because you're never going to do it. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, yeah, let's just get it going and see how this movement idea worked out. Charging into the top of Hammond Labs, this was the perfect place to start my adver- Okay, it was the tenth time I tried this and I was getting absolutely rinsed, but pretend it's the first time for me, please! After completing a mid-air triple take shot, I started to panic. Was that luck? Or was I finally getting the hang of this legend? I didn't want this game to end. Bloodhound restored my dreams of making it through the first battle alive, but a Bangalore was skulking around. Still rocking a Mozambican, neglecting to take the vault inside that death box because I am the deluxe version of a mutton-headed moron, I sat and considered what I would do if I was that Bangalore right now. A gunfight gone horribly wrong for them, a teammate's banner now recovered, the options are to resurrect your teammate close to the death box area, risky, or perhaps at the PS5, slightly safer, or even further away in the event that enemies would give chase, which I would. Due to the nature of the skulking, I had the strong suspicion Bangalore would therefore stay close to home. I also looked at the four bullets remaining inside of my triple take and decided that no matter what, I would not be swapping out this weapon, as it was clearly the bringer of luck at this point. I also still had not realised that there was a Mozambique as my primary weapon either, as I was too busy being both impressed and disgusted by my instincts to join Bloodhound on an ultimate hunt. I then passed up a wingman and a level 2 heavy mag over a triple take with no sniper ammo, leaving me all but defenseless at range. A true gutter tier decision, but that's how it sometimes goes, and while I know the task was movement only today, Apex Legends also happens to be a game that has requirements on a more basic level. So this was one of those times when you just had to say to yourself, you had one job. Alright, well, bouncing Newt off the wall wasn't my idea of a good time, but this wasn't over yet. Wait, 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 wait! What's that? Sniper ammo, you say? Nay, says I, too busy with movement and stuff like that. Oh, 
Well, the idea was sound. Throw the gravity lift at the exit and prevent that octane from coming in, but it bounced on a down player's head, and then I got confused who was shit. Oh, who cares? I'm bad. I get it. Next. I have landed so often at estates that I'm thinking I should buy one of these places and rent them out because I'm sick of it being my funeral home, but perhaps today was going to be different. You know when you play Wraith and you phase away from a bad situation back to your teammate to safety, yet the other guy just will not give up the chase? The other guy was me. Panic set in once again, and I repeated to myself, movement, just movement. Instead of fixing my double heavy ammo loadout for an RE45 and an EVA 8, I decided to engage the nearby enemies in the trident with 11 bullets for my flatline and... Yeah, one, one for the hemlock. So we remedied the loadout and prepared for battle, where my movement skills were about to be heavily put to the test. This is the point where your inner voice says, run, 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 but your ego says, there's only one guy left. I can win this if I can make it to the death box. Wrong. You're not making it to any death box, loser. You are the death box. One or two games later. Oh, that's a lie. Anyway, one or two games later, I realized that there was a certain value in what I'd been trying, because always keeping yourself moving as if one had set themselves on fire is actually a great exercise, which, if practiced for long enough, may well be able to integrate itself into normal gameplay. Calm down a little bit to allow for some looting that involves a correct loadout, still making sure that you carry 24 syringes, of course, but this time, I decided that because I was in such a crazy mood, I would need a weapon to balance out my aggression the charge rifle then no matter what i'd be forced to recognize the power of picking my battles at range which ap apparently didn't change a thing because i decided to run head first at an enemy squad Seeing the R99 with the golden mag brought delicious thoughts of full send fury to my mind, but I resisted, swapped it out for the vault and kept the charge rifle, ignoring that 2-4 scope because for some reason it zooms me into like, being more useless than flicking a sturdy chocolate mousse at the middle of my screen and trying to aim through that instead. So we kept the one times, two times, ignored a triple take in a nearby box because I knew fine well I'd be using that as a shotgun and moved to investigate nearby footsteps. Enemy rather close. Fast your sail. Here's a pick me up. I shot. The ring's near and hope spotted an enemy over there. What's the least?
This whole charged rifle thing hadn't exactly been working out, so I decided to punish myself by holding on to it no matter what. However, the only way I could see me ever actually using it was if a Pathfinder somehow set up a zip line in front of my face and then jumped it. Well, isn't that convenient? As I stared down onto Capacitor with more enemies in sight, it became clear to me that the only reason I was still alive is because my teammate was just as aggressive as I was, if not more so, meaning that any charged rifle antics might actually leave me late to the party. At this point, I was scratching my head, trying to fathom how the Gutter could possibly even be the kill leader. Then thoughts turned to wondering when my teammate would call me out for stealing their eliminations, but it didn't matter. Padding my damage would be the order of the day and soon sort that out, and it would just so happen that as we approached the edge of the ring atop the destroyed bridges, there was a chance for me to do exactly that and be a menace with the charge rifle. Once my damage was suitably bolstered, my ego once again allowed me to enter the fray, but it looked like we were too late. A Bangalore. Could be alone, I couldn't be sure. Perhaps trying for their teammate's banner? Would I really get so lucky to stalk the same legend again before they could revive their friend? Five squads left and I felt myself in with a chance of victory. Perhaps now was a good time to swap out the charge rifle and embrace my inner lunatic. But I felt compelled to keep my loadout in the event that I had subconsciously changed tactics to fo- Okay, I'm just lazy guys, just deal with it. FYI, Watson's ultimate swallows Horizon's tactical. Reloading. 
just call me the butcher of Bangalore's at this point, but then, out of nowhere, my teammate spoke. Run, buddy. We got him. Run. The circle. Let's go. Yeah, man, let's get out of here. We need to run. We need to kill them all. Bunch of idiots have been here. Do you want to swap the backpacks? A whole minute to dawdle. Ah, uh, sorry, did you say you're really quiet? Backpack here. Level four. Oh, thank you. With only one squad left, we had to establish the right way to destroy our opponents. And while some may refer to what happened next as playing with your food, my teammate had likely realized that I didn't have the loadout for the full send approach. Not that this mattered in any way whatsoever, but he seemed fine with just playing for the zone advantage. So that's exactly what we did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can run in on them any time you like, man. Yeah. I hope you have your all. Yeah, I've got it, man. We're gonna dump it right on their face. The final ring of the game was upon us, and this was the first time I had ever experienced it in a duos match. All of a sudden, I started to feel less confident. Good job, man. Yes. 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 I love you, man. Love you too. With all my heart. <laughs> and there you have it. A match made in heaven with the superior player, the lifeline, of course, ensuring victory with me toning down my aerobatic insanity to not get us both killed. However, the first two games that I showed today are a great way to train Horizon's movement potential, and I'm going to continue to do it as I try to reach from the gutter to greener pastures. 
But the fact remains that aggressive movement is going to require good decision making and constantly, so the moment those decisions are poorly made, that's when you find out what you're actually made of and realise that your product has been recalled for getting too easily perforated. I definitely recommend trying out Horizon though with their tactical being used on cooldown as much as possible. It can be handy to have a cooler of a second weapon though to make sure you remember to equip yourself for ranged battles as well, unless you end up with a teammate like mine, in which case you may as well just strap in for the adrenaline rush. Hope you enjoyed the video, take it easy, catch you on the next one, later!